what's going on everybody um i know i've been out of the loop for a while been a little busy um but i'm gonna get back to making videos here real soon i just wanted to make this quick video about what happened uh, yesterday in texas um the school shooting um i as somebody who grew up around guns their entire life um when i was in middle school in small town iowa our gym teacher our pe teacher uh, right at the beginning of hunting season um turkey season to be exact we would in gym class one day in gym class we would have like a hunter safety education where we'd watch a video and i actually still remember the video um because you know we did it for like three years but uh and then after the video he would bring in shotguns and he would pass them around and we would all look at him and stuff like that by that time the majority of people kids in iowa had already seen a shotgun they had already been hunting um it wasn't something new um but right now can you imagine if they did that today can you just imagine if a gym teacher brought in shotguns to a school to teach gun safety and hunter's education oh my god man everybody would lose their minds but then we fast forward you know 20 plus years and then what do we have we have some fucking retarded punk kid who for whatever fucking reason kills his grandmother and then goes into a fucking elementary school a fucking elementary school and he kills a bunch of kids. Um, one report I saw said one teacher died. One report I saw said two teachers died. Um, I, I, I haven't looked at it this morning, so I don't, I don't know the latest numbers. But it just blows my mind that, that that's where we're at today. Regardless what color that person was, regardless of where they were politically, regardless of all that shit, right? Like, who gives a fuck about any of that stuff? Why the fuck are we not doing something for, to protect our most valuable resource? And that is the children, right? Again, regardless of who you vote for, regardless of what fucking side you lean on politically, regardless of what color you are, what fucking church you go to, what state you live in, I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. Why the fuck are we not protecting our kids? I just, I don't, I don't get it. Is it money? I mean, really? Is it money? We're spending, you know, we're sending, what, 60 fucking million dollars or billion dollars or some shit to, to Ukraine, and we're not even protecting our own kids? I mean, fuck, man, you know? And, and I get that, like, certain small towns don't have the budget for an SRO, school resource officer, and every single school, you know, in their town. I get that. But in the same token, the small towns, usually the police response is, like, super quick, right? But, but, the caveat to that yesterday there was a border patrol agent who was nearby i don't know how nearby i just know he was nearby and he got there pretty quick from what i understand and he was able to kill that person right the active killer active shooter whatever you want to call him he was able to neutralize the threat he himself got injured he was able to walk out but he went there by himself um you know, he did the the 100% right thing. He ran code three, which is lights and sirens, over to the school. He jumped out of his car. He grabbed his fucking gun. He went inside. And he neutralized the threat. That's it. He didn't wait for backup. He didn't wait for any of that shit. He did what he was supposed to do. Now, the 
thousand other questions that, that I have, right? As a father whose son is in an elementary school, I literally just dropped my son off. He's in fourth grade, right? How the fuck did that dude get in that school? How did he get into school? We don't know what gun it is. Apparently on his Instagram account, he was showing some ARs, right? I don't know what gun it was. Let's just assume it was an AR, right? Because regardless of what gun it is, the liberal media is going to say it's an AR, so it doesn't matter, right? Let's just say it was an AR. How the fuck did he get into school with an AR? You know, I, since my kids have been going to school, except for preschool. Preschool was the only place that I didn't have to get buzzed in. Every other school that my kids have gone to, all the doors are locked and you have to get buzzed in. And there's a camera there. Hey, what are you here for? I'm whatever, picking up my son for a dental appointment. Okay, cool. You know, what's your son's name? Or, you know, whatever. They ask you the questions, right? You go in, you show your ID, all that good stuff. How the fuck does this dude get in? Did the school not have that? And if they didn't have it, why the fuck not? You know? Um, I know that, you know, where I work, the, the fucking high schools... The high school and the elementary school, um, they all have security doors and they all have, it's not a bulletproof glass, but it's like a laminated glass that you can't just shoot once and it shatters and get through. You have to like actually work at it to get through it. So like a safety glass, if you will. Um, they have all that stuff so that you, somebody couldn't just walk in with a rifle and start killing people. Okay, so it blows my mind that that the guy was able to get in the first place, right? Again, I don't know how far this cop was away. Um, I heard he was pretty close. But even if you're only, shit, if you're only a block away, let's say, let's say a block away, by the time you get in there, start killing people, they call 911. 911 gets the information they need. 911 relays it on the radio. You hear it on the radio, you respond on the radio. You know how many people you can kill by then? Let's, let's be honest, right? So, circle all the way back. Why the fuck are we protecting our kids? Now, I know in this town that I live in, my kids go to two different schools. There is one school resource officer for the middle school, one for the high school. Um, and I've never seen one at my son's elementary school never right and you know maybe it's because people don't think that somebody's gonna do that to an elementary school maybe that's why maybe people are for lack of a better word maybe they're naive okay maybe they just don't want to think that somebody would be that fucking sinister right they are people are that fucking shitty that's just the sad fucking truth that we need to realize right so what can we do about it? Well, you know, not you know, it's not my idea. It's it's you know, it's somebody's idea that came way before me. I I will back up their idea. I personally personally think that if you had you know, just fuck man, just one one fucking armed security guy. Just one. You give me an armed security guy and a fucking dog. Give me one canine. One canine. And they have the handler be armed. That's all I need. That's it. Because no matter where that dude is in the school, he's doing his rounds. You know, the canine keep drugs out of the school, whatever. But if somebody comes in there with a gun, I guarantee Fido is going to take care of that guy. And if Fido gets hurt, What's right behind Fido? The handler with the gun. Okay? That's, that's... I mean, I don't know what else to say. Besides that, you have um, a shitload of people that would probably volunteer to do it. You know? You got a bunch of people that would probably do it for free if, if they were able to. Now, you want to talk about, like, arming teachers and stuff like that, and I know the, um, 
the really, you know, hardcore gun guys, they, they always, oh, we need to arm teachers, we need to arm teachers. Well, they, the sad fact of the matter is, buddy, is that there's probably a lot of teachers that don't want to be armed. Okay? And I'm not going to force anybody that doesn't want to be armed to be armed. That is just not going to happen. You know, I have my own ideas about arming teachers, whether we should or we shouldn't, or if we do, what needs to happen with that. And oh my God, there's a thousand things that go along with it, right? And I don't have all the answers, never claim to have all the answers, never claim to be the smartest dude in the world. And I just, I hate how this stuff happens and then automatically it's, it's political, right? Automatically it's right or left and we have to get on a side. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what who you voted for or what fucking side you're on. I don't care. All I give a fuck about is all those kids that are dead. All those parents who lost their child to some fucking maniac. And, you know, I, I may be fucked in the head and I may have, like, some fucking PTSD issues. But, like, every time I see that shit, I'm like, fuck, I wish I was there. And people are like, well, why? And I'm like, because I, I think I could have stopped it. I think I could have saved some or most of those kids. I think that I could have done something. And I think that, you know, I really, truly, honestly believe that, like, my gun handling skills and my tactics are better than that guy's gun handling skills and his tactics. And I think that I would have been able to do something. Regardless if I lose my life or not, that doesn't fucking matter. Because we're not talking about my life. We're talking about the life of the kids, right? So, I think that I could have done something and could have saved some of those kids. And you know what? I'm not alone in that train of thought. Um, there's a lot of people who think the exact same thing and think the exact same way that I do. And I mean a fucking lot of people because I've talked to a whole shitload of people. It's just sad and I, I... I don't know, man. I mean, you're sacrificing all those kids for the cost of one police officer per year, which is, let's just take a wild guess and say 60 to 70 grand a year to put a, to put a cop in that school. And granted, maybe the cop would have got shot, man. I don't know, but goddamn, he would have fucking been there, right? Maybe just having a cop there, that much of a deterrent to where the person says, you know what, I'm not gonna try this because there is a cop there. I know, it's a fucking sad day in the world today. Because I'm going to tell you what, I would, I would every single day sacrifice every fucking politician we have to get any of those kids back. Anyway, those that's my thoughts on the whole subject. Tell me yours. I know everybody wants to talk about it right now. I know everybody's pretty fucking heartbroken right now about everything. So um, let me know what you got. Remember, be an asset, not a liability.